<sighs> okay, so it's no secret that I think Star Wars is dead. Lucasfilm as a whole is and has been a dead brand for quite some time. Legend has it that if you actually try hard enough, you can still almost smell the last couple of mummified corpses Lucasfilm has laid out on the table for public consumption. Well, that was a load of shit. Absolutely disgusting. But as we all know, the Soka show is out right now. And while I'm not one of those true insane types that are ready or already shouting from the heavens the likes of Ahsoka Save Star Wars or We Need a Live Action Clone Wars movie, or even worse, thinking that this is the best Star Wars we've ever gotten. Like, shut up, you clowns. This is why we can't have nice things. And while this isn't an Ahsoka review overall, as I said in this video, and I'll say it again, we're just going to wait until the full show comes out. This isn't like a She-Hulk situation where it was just simply so dog shit that thoughts needed to be relayed. Man, I cannot wait for that season two. And while I still continue to believe that the Star Wars brand as a whole is still dead as of right now, what I can say, and what I will say, is that I do believe, with proper training and the right defibrillator, Star Wars can be brought back to life. And as crazy as that all sounds, and I'm so angry at myself for even having the faith, again, I do believe Dave Filoni is that defibrillator, and that this is his test run. But what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? I always said I wasn't going to do any more, and that's true, because I'm not going to do any more. But that doesn't mean I'm unwilling to turn it over to Kathy to do more. Mm -hmm. I have story treatments of 7, 8, and 9, and a bunch of other movies, and and obviously we have hundreds of books and comics and everything you could possibly imagine. Today, I am proud to announce the Walt Disney Company is acquiring Lucasfilm, the global entertainment company founded by George Lucas and the home of the legendary Star Wars franchise. The main thing is to protect these characters, make sure that they still continue to, to live in the way that you created them, and that the universe of Star Wars continues to grow. I may have gone too far in a few places. Yes, George. Yes, we did. With Kathleen Kennedy taking over as head chairman, or woman, or omelet, of Lucasfilm back in 2012, God, the world should have really ended if we knew the times that we would end up in now. No one could have predicted the absolute downfall of the Star Wars franchise as a whole in a matter of only a decade. A franchise that had stood the test of time, creating lifelong legacy characters and generational fandom amongst even the most casual of audiences and families. And while receiving its fair share of criticism over the years, I mean, this meme wasn't made intentionally for Kathleen, I was almost certain that the good name of Star Wars, a franchise, a brand, a legacy that lived long before I was here, and would continue to survive and thrive long after I was gone. And while there have been some hiccups along the way, some more major than others, I still believe in the fact that Star Wars is a brand that can be saved as mentioned before. With Kathleen Kennedy's contract about to hit its expiration date, as much slack and disdain as this man gets, as divided as the fandom might be right now, I truly believe that Dave Filoni is the only answer. Under the Disney regime, or the Kathleen Kennedy regime, maybe even the Sloppy Omelette regime, Lucasfilm has managed to come out with five movies with the sequel trilogy, Rogue One, and Solo A Star Wars Story. Five live action shows with Andor, Ahsoka, The Book of Boba Fett, Kenobi, and The Mandalorian. The only show that has had a continuous story for more than one season. Not to mention two animated projects that unfortunately not a lot of people have tuned into with The Bad Batch and Tales of the Jedi. As well as the completion of two already running animated series with The Clone Wars Season 7 and Star Wars Rebels Season 4 in the final season. On the surface, nothing about what I just said should really stand out. It's a healthy amount of projects when it comes to the time frame, 
there's a healthy amount of disparity when it comes to the medium of entertainment, casuals and fans alike should relatively be in a healthy place as well, right? Wrong. Underneath the surface, you'll see that some of the most successful projects under Disney Star Wars and the Kathleen Kennedy regime have been products and projects written, directed, or created by Dave Filoni. But I guess that also determines on how you measure the word success. So let's take a deeper look. From the outside looking in, the sequel trilogy would be the quote-unquote most successful projects in the Disney Star Wars era. And while taking an interesting approach of earning less and less money at the box office with each and every installment, the fact still stands that each movie in the trilogy did reach that big B, paving a new path in Hollywood on how to create a successful movie trilogy, reintroducing legacy characters for one final run. And while they never once shared the big screen together, one final run did they all give, ushering in a new, refreshing, charismatic, diverse, and greatly written characters, ready to take the bull by the horns of the new Star Wars era. <laughs> right. And while I appreciate you guys indulging in my sarcasm, in all seriousness, the sequel trilogy is the reason we're in this position in the first place. And the sloppy omelette herself is the mother of that mess. And while we could talk about the absolute destruction of Star Wars, Lucasfilm, and Kathleen all day, I'll just leave you these two videos. It simply pains me too much. So let's take a look at Dave Filoni, the would-be successor in this hypothetical scenario to the incompetent leech that is Kathleen. Let's play a little bit of Devil's Advocate. While most of what Dave Filoni has worked on has been on the animated side of things, therefore going unnoticed and underappreciated until recent years, the success of his character writing, show running ability, and love for Star Wars itself hasn't gone unnoticed. And honestly has led to the rise of his popularity in regards to the audience, as well as his ranking in seniority within the Lucasfilm division. Tales of the Jedi is one of the greatest anthology series of our most recent time, and has some of the best choreography Star Wars has to offer post Disney's purchase. The Bad Batch offers a different taste on the palette, offering a look into the world of the everyday man, or the everyday clone. For all of the slack that The Mandalorian receives now, myself included, at one point, for better or for worse, before it was just the puppet, Din Djarin as Mando was the face of Disney Star Wars and truly had an incredibly high ceiling when it came to the creativity of the series. Star Wars Rebels engaged in a new audience, ushering in a new generation of Star Wars fans while utilizing the great writing techniques of Avatar The Last Airbender by incorporating the older and already established Star Wars fandom, as well as ushering in a new audience of a younger demographic. And well, Star Wars Clone Wars Season 7 is highly regarded as one of the greatest pieces of media that Star Wars has ever created, integrating and building on some of the most exciting and important events and development of characters that we already knew, as well as simultaneously introducing fan favorite characters like Ahsoka, which leads us to the main point of this video. Is the Ahsoka show Dave Filoni's test run? With Dave Filoni running into the same problem that he's faced so many times before, viewership, while at the same time receiving the good graces from the majority of fans for his work so far on Ahsoka, has Lucasfilm already made the decision to move on from Kathleen? And even so, will Dave Filoni be able to generate enough creativity lore building, character reconstructions, and a vision to incorporate the titanic level mess that Disney Star Wars has become? It's truly hard to say what's going on in those conference calls, but my god, I can almost guarantee 
that I would be losing brain cells if I were to be a fly on that wall. Of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. These are the times I wish I had the subscriber count to put out a poll. Is Dave Filoni the answer? Would you give Kathleen Kennedy that contract extension to reset the market? Nah, nah, wait, you actually can't do that. Star Wars would actually be dead forever. But at the end of the day, I can't wait to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. But otherwise, that's all the words I got for you today. Bye.